In today's video, I'm going to be answering your questions about the NBA Slam Jam door hanging mini hoop. I made a video about this thing a little over a year ago, and you guys had all kinds of questions, so I figured I'd make another video about it, talking about what you guys had questions about. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, question number one is, can you mount it to the actual wall, or is it just a door mount? Well, let me take it off the door here. So, this thing comes like this. The door mount in the box, the mount is already attached to it whenever I bought it. And it does appear that, if you can see, there are pins across the top there and these are not removable unless you just want to break it but that doesn't make sense um so no you can't i mean i guess you could mount it to the wall if you you know built something to just you know hang it to the wall i guess you could do that so technically yes but the way it's designed is meant to go over the door honestly i think if you built something you could just build a little something something door thickness hanging on the wall kind of like a tv mount stick this to the wall and boom you got one on your wall so if you want to do that that works but it's designed to go over the door. Another question is, did it come with an air pump? So if you guys didn't know, it comes with this little five inch basketball and it does not come with a pump for air. However, I think some different brands of this same concept do come with a little tiny air pump. But mine didn't. The NBA Slam Jam does not come with a air pump. So what I did, I have an air pump already. It comes with a little needle up in the top here. It's like that. All you gotta do, this does not come with an air pump. However, if you have one, just air up the ball. Jesus. Question number three is, can it hold my weight? Depends on how much you weigh. I weigh, you know, roughly 180 pounds, give or take five or 10 pounds. I mean, it does have, it does have the breakaway rim feature. Let me show you. It does have the breakaway feature, so it can go down quite a bit, you know. It's, it's got a good spring in it, so for that, it's good. However, if you want it to actually hold your whole entire weight, like, I don't think, I wouldn't trust it to hold me completely limp on this, because I feel like, you know, once you bend it so far, the backboard tends to bow a little bit, so I think it would break. So the answer to that is probably no. Question number four, how much is it? I think I bought this, it was on sale. Usually it's anywhere from like 25 to 35 in that kind of range, dollars. I think I got mine for about 30, because it was, you know, during Christmas time, and it was, I think, no, I think it was Black Friday, actually. The day after Black Friday, Friday, and I got it for you know a mark off price, but it's anywhere from like twenty five to thirty five dollars. I think it's worth it because it's so much fun to play with and stuff. But it just depends on how much money you are willing to spend. Question number five is kind of similar to one we had earlier. Can you remove the hanging rig from the back? You can. That's that's you you can do it. However, it might break it. Like if you take those pins off that I showed you earlier, take those out. I guess you could replace them with other types of screws or something. I personally would not. I see it as a door mounted thing. I'm gonna leave it on the door because I don't want to risk breaking it. So I would say you can, but I would not advise it. And the last question for the video, can you dunk on it? Yes. But just to prove, just to prove my point a little bit more, we're going to have a little bit of a dunk off. I missed. Dang. I don't know how much of it I can do in my little room, but hey. And I'm dunking pretty hard, so this rim is actually really nice. It's like a real rim, it's just really small. See? Break away. Man. If I go any harder, I gotta put the Crocs in four-wheel drive. Oh. <laughs> I've been under. <laughs> Alright, what, what other dunk should I do? One last dunk to end the video off. So we're gonna go behind the back, off this wall. Off this wall, behind the back, left hand. Sure, why not? Ah. If you want to see more mini hoop dunks, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can like take it outside and set it up and do that. But if you guys found this video enjoyable, I would really appreciate it if you left a like on it. Comment down below your thoughts if you have any more questions, let me know. And if you are brand new to the channel, if this is the first time you've seen a Gare the Bear video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm on the road to a thousand right now, and we're very, very close, so I would really appreciate it if you tell your friends about the channel as well. And here at the end of the video, we're going to have a couple of playlists pop up on the screen if you want to watch more vlogs, my most recent video, whatever the heck YouTube suggests to you. I don't know what I have up there, but if you want to watch more, be sure to click through those links. Without further ado, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all again tomorrow.